Wow. And for those of you listening into that, it um, was very entertaining, a little bit nerve-wracking from me, but thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Mike Kopernak. Mike, to you, it's lovely. I'm, the, uh, I'm an artist, I'm an educator. Uh, I'm also the founder of Creative Portal, which I hope will be of value to you as you grow the careers. Um, obviously, earlier, Sam really brilliantly described the creative sector, the geography, uh, she talked about the 16 different segments and Sam's coming back later. So don't worry if you missed that. Uh, you can watch it again on uh, record. We're going to be archiving all of this and the same with this talk. Um, all I can say is the collaboration with between Crazy Portal and Eric has made this possible and it's made for a wonderful week ahead. And I've got what a week. I spelled it W-O-T, by the way. What a week ahead as, as you're going on a massive journey across the arts. So welcome to our week. Um, welcome in advance to the speakers that are joining us, some of them from big enterprises, some of them from very small enterprises. Um, I'm going to be very excited to try and answer your questions at the end of this presentation. So if you put them in the chat, if time runs out, my promise to you is I will uh, look at the responses, the questions and post responses uh, when we archives the to archive the talks. So I think it's very important that people, uh, you know, that we get back to you. So um, just to let you know, guys, that creative, the reason that I started uh, Creative Portal is that this is my 47th year, crikey, 47th year, working in education as a teacher, um, as a careers tutor, um, as a counsellor and as a mentor. Uh, creative arts has always been my passion. I started my very first uh, serious art class when I was 13. My teacher at school noticed something and sent me off to the local art school to um, you know, to, to go to life drawing classes so that my drawing would improve, but I'd always doodled. I lived as a child, I think, in an imaginary world. Um, I was passionate about the arts. I've got a little bit of a circus background. There's certainly performers uh, in my family. So the theatre and arts and culture were in my bloodstream um, throughout my life, really. Um, and Creative Portal, guys, is not something that's up there for just those people that um, want to pursue a career in the arts. It's there for also for those of you out there who simply love to express yourself and want to celebrate um, your creativity and who you are. So from my perspective, before I start the PowerPoint, we're, we're all artists, we're all designers, we're all craftspeople, we're all performers, because I like to term us all as professional lookers. Um, we are daily immersed, how life has changed, we are now daily immersed in visual culture. And if you just take one sense of your own lives, look at the way that we capture our world with our smartphones and the places where we upload our images, well, these have become, in a sense, our new galleries on social media. Um, when we train our eyes, and this I think is something that creatives do, when we train our eyes, that muscle that does do that in your eye, um, then we begin to see the world uh, in a more vivid way. We constantly uh, rediscover the world we live in. That, for me, is why I think the arts are so uh, critically important. So all the time, you know, obviously we love to exchange, we love to interact, ideas, communicate, and in the last 20, 30 years, we have absolutely zoomed a super highway. We've got A1 on our doorstep, not the A1, not the motorway, that is. We've got AI on our doorstep that's going to take uh, the arts uh, into untold digital futures, careers that you can only dream of. There are jobs. I was talking to somebody from Escape the other day, and there are jobs out there that yet to be uh, invented. So your futures are really, really uh, important. And I'm going to say a little thank you now to, to a little subject to Amongst the Arts to photography, because I think I'm a bit of an art historian. I think it was uh, the emergence of photography in the 1850s that actually released us as artists 
uh, and designers uh, to look at the world in new ways. So why is it important? Well, creativity, originality, initiative, it impacts on every subject. It can make sure, uh, improve your numeracy, improve your literacy skills. So I'm going to just throw in a little something that STEM is important for you guys as could be the art subjects that you want to be involved in. Interestingly, on a recent survey of uh, skills, top 10 skills that businesses want in any profession, creativity in 2022 uh, is number three. They're predicting this year when that um, result comes out, the creativity will be top of the polls, top of the pops for the skills that you want. So creative people, folks, are increasingly becoming sought after. However, uh, creativity is not just about art, good art. It's about how you think. For example, you can be a creative thinker, but not a great painter or a graphic designer. Instead, you might be someone who sees things differently, can suggest new original ways of doing things and pushes their ideas forward. So going to play you a little video in a minute that will explain uh, Creative Portal and why it um, came about is simply because um, I wanted to create a safe, dedicated place where young people could grow their portfolios from GCSE through to A-level, level three through degree into startup. A place also where you could um, uh, share uh, and talk creatively to your peers. That quickly, Mike. Oh, do you want to pause it quickly? Yep. You want to go into presentation mode. So you're you're currently not in presentation mode. So oh, right. just go down to the bottom right hand um, screen and click on the presentation icon that we were on before. Perfect. Oh, and it's now okay. playing. Hi. Um, so what I want to do today, guys, is just to look at some digital portfolio tips. Um, as said, Creative Portal is free. It's perceived as more than a portfolio, as I think we describe it as a, as a selfie, where you can um, create your whole self. You can upload your UCAS statement, your CV, your notes, your... Um, up work and anything else that you think that you uh, then will create a portfolio that is easily available to uh, universities. So we host it free. Um, we think that uh, paper saving portfolios that you can bring to education are the way forward, not just in the arts, but in every walk of life. And remember that your portfolio is very much you. It's a creative selfie, simply saying, this is this is creative me. Um, art, your artwork and videos, uh, your reels will link to YouTube. And yes, our portfolios, as said, encourage you to 
add your CV, and if appropriate, your UCAS statement, creative writing, and more. Simply because I think you're a brand, and you're your own brand. The reason I put that in there is we are going global. And one of the really, I think, strengths of Creative Portal is it enables you to look at the work, work of peers, um, your own age group, to share your uh, creative conversations in a safe place. It also enables you uh, increasingly uh, within a few months time to be able to look at the work of young people in the global uh, marketplace. It's an incredible way, guys, to showcase your individuality, uh, to show your skills, set out your own way, phase your journey, um, your creativity, your personality, your abilities, your commitment, and importantly, your future potential. And remember that. Um, I hope your teachers will agree with me. It's not always about the finished work. Having been a UAL uh, moderator, I would dive in, uh, probably ignore the finished work, and I would go straight back. To, I wanted to see the journey. So where did the ideas start? So what we're adding to our portfolios over the next coming few months, uh, because it's quite a difficult one to code this, we are going to actually add somewhere where you can include your sketchbook and your journal materials, because they, these are very important about not just that creative journey, but those moments when you are personally you, where you're not working to a project brief necessarily given to you. So for visual art students, um, as you know, the drawing styles is critical uh, and inquiry uh, illustrates your thought processes. So that's why we're going to add this sketchbook session. Um, annotation for each piece of work gives you the opportunity to tell your story um, and your, uh, your, we want your portfolio to be very much your career story. Um, this might be edited text um, or why not think about making uh, very short reels that you can attach to your finished uh, portfolio where you talk about your ideas. See your portfolio as a creative work in itself. Uh, it's not something that, like a CV, uh, you write it, you put it all in a drawer, you think that's it uh, forever. It's something that you should really look at daily, uh, weekly, monthly, and you know, refresh and grow your portfolio. So view it as a work, in, a creative work in itself. Um, see it as a reflective tool. That can grow with you and be constantly updated. There you are, your portfolio is never finished. We also uh, see Creative Portal not, not just supporting the visual arts uh, in their widest 16 definition categories, but we also see them as very useful for increasingly online auditions. The ePortfolio gives you the uh, opportunity to be word and action perfect. Because uh, obviously we're all human and uh, it doesn't sometimes happen first time. So um, one of the things, if you're a performing arts student, you might include a compilation of the retakes that illustrates uh, your determination to get it right in the way that a sketchbook can also. For performing arts students, we encourage you in our portfolios always to remember to include an e-copy of your audition. Or music score. If you've got school productions that you've been in, we'd ask you to uh, suggest you include them and we are developing a new exhibition platform that you can create a whole school production in or you can create your own individual uh, performance. 
we are constantly working uh, with your help and this is where I appreciate you coming on to Creative Portal and giving us your feedback uh, and we constantly try to upgrade and improve them based on what you tell us. You can also ask other Creative Portal users to review your portfolio uh, and perhaps even on-site grow a mentor. We also have on Creative Port a whole series, just like Eric, of industry professionals who you can seek out once you have a portfolio, you can seek them out on the site and ask them for uh, mentoring advice, ask them for a placement, perhaps a bit later on in your career, uh, seek uh, an internment. I'm just going to jump this one because this is old hat. We did a wonderful series with speakers for schools uh, with Eric. Um, which was very successful, and it's led to us doing uh, what we're doing now over this week. Um, I wanted to just throw in a few tips for um, having interviewed degree students for a considerable number of years. Tips for a portfolio into at university, apprenticeships or employment. Uh, so how you can make those great decisions. I've dropped the R deliberately because it's a remember word for me that interviews are as much about making uh, you choose the right course and the right centre or the right job. Um, before you attend, make sure you research the course, research the employer from the website, take time to compare it with other similar courses, other employment centres. For example, how do they prepare you for future employment? Uh, because, you know, you're going to go off to, uh, if you're going to university, then you know, if you're paying out considerable amount of money investment in that, you know, you want courses that are going to set you out for the future, give you the connections you want with the industry. So um, always ask them which art sector employers, organisations, curriculum partners uh, support them. Uh, are there placements built into the course? If time permits, my advice is always visit your, if you're going to university, university or colleges that run higher education, always go to the open days. Um, don't be irritating, but make yourself known. Uh, very obvious ones like prepare your questions in advance. Don't be afraid to read them from a notebook if you're in an interview. Um, put those annotations on your um, portfolio, then you'll be able to run your portfolio digitally at interview from Creative Portal, because they are transferable if you apply. Uh, we all forget what's said in interviews. They come out, me included, chatted about that this morning, write down immediately what happened at the interview. If you've got school uh, peers who are attending the same university, then share those post-interview notes. So very important annotation. Uh, again, as a UAL moderator, annotate your portfolio before you attend for interview. It'll help you talk through the backstory behind individual work and projects. Uh, it's OK uh, to take those notes with you and visibly. It shows you're prepared, so don't be afraid of sitting there with a notebook. Now, some universities may hold their admission interviews online. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If you're with Creative Portal or another platform, uh, then you will have a digital portfolio. If you get the opportunity, guys, to have a mock interview, then run through your portfolio with your teacher or your careers advisor, or on Creative Portal, ask a professional organisation uh, or another artist on there to act or designer to actually review your portfolio and give you a critique. You can even ask us. Uh, to review your portfolio. Um, obviously, you know, we appreciate that your teachers and careers teachers will also give you fabulous advice, but it is it is good to just open the door to as much advice as you can get. So, some further helpful tips that we help you pre uh, prepare. Uh, make sure you've researched and stay on top of contemporary stories in the arts. Visit exhibitions, um, shops, design centres, view the arts, online channels. Have you recently read a book? We just had World Book Day. 
Um, you've been to the movies, be excited. We live in a streaming world. Um, how are you keeping up to pace with culture? Be knowledgeable about what's in the news. Uh, and guys, it's really good to feel strong about issues. It might be climate. It might be another social issue. Um, something that celebrate because that helps celebrate who you are. Make sure um, you read when you go for interview, please reread your personal statement. Uh, what did you say about yourself? And, and, ooh, wobbly eyes, and. Rise early, make eye contact. Remember, they want to get to know you. Could there be a curveball question at interview? Maybe. Here's one. For example, guys, I'm going to set you now as a little question. If you had the last piece of paper in the world, what would you do with it? I used to ask that one at interview, by the way. Uh, it'd be great to have your answers to that one. Might make a little ebook. Email them to info at creativeportal.co.uk. And a very big uh, thank you.